What's up, you guys? My name is Miriam with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, past you side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. If everyone has free will, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 5 The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love you guys. Okay, so um, I received two channelings. Um, I heard Taurus and I received two channelings as I was meditating on your energy for August of 2022. So the channel message I received was... Um, Oh. identity theft and um what was the other one identity oh in a house identity theft in a house is about to become very significant in Taurus's life we've had a lot of identity theft in here a lot we had identity theft in leos and in pisces now we pull, pull it in Tauruses. so identity theft is about to become very significant um energies can be reversed so one of you guys your identity could could have been stolen or is about to be stolen or for one of you guys you could have stolen somebody's identity or helped steal it how that resonates okay and a house so you could be buying a house renting a house selling a house showing a house living in a house moving to a new house new to you house or new new house um, how that resonates and applies somehow a house is significant and identity theft so you plug it into your own specific life story and situation how that resonates and applies to us spirit messages you have sent to us A journey, either physical or mental, shield, you need to defend yourself, cat, a two-faced friend. That's why I don't have friends. Because if you don't have friends, you don't have to deal with somebody being two-faced to you. But somebody has a two-faced friend. So, whoever this is and how it applies in your life, Taurus. One Taurus is a teacher, one is an RN, one is a reader, one is a public speaker. So one of you guys is a public speaker, one you're a tarot card reader, one you are a RN, registered nurse, one you are a um, teacher, one you're an LPN, and one you're LPN, an LPN, a licensed practical nurse. So when you're a licensed classical nurse, when you're an RN, when you're a teacher, when you are a um, chair reader, when you're a public speaker. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dolphin, beaver. You can be dealing with a water sign or another earth sign, a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. A closed account at a banking institution, some a credit union, some a bank, is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. A closed account, some at a banking institution and some at a um, credit union is about to become very significant in your life. For some, I feel you could be closing an, an account, some at a credit union, some at a banking institution. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to or somebody you're past, but somehow a closed account at a banking institution for some of you guys, for some at a credit union is about to become very significant in your life. I know I closed down my uh, account at my credit union today, completely closed it down and uh went to another one so you know however that resonates and applies in your life spirit messages you have side doors okay. belonging door to personal healing and happiness number 34 could be very significant number in one's life also door to spirit number 32 could also be very significant in one's life 34 and 32 
My child is about to drop out of college soon. My child is about to drop out of college soon is what I just heard. My child is about to drop. Man, we're just at the beginning of the college season here. Um, well, I mean, depending, I don't know how far along they were in college. Um, whoever this child is, for some, I feel like it could be your child. For some, it could be a child you're connected to. Some kind of child's about to drop out of college. Uh, whoever this child is and how they apply. Who for some, it could be your child, but it could be any any child. How that resonates. Dolphin. A cancer Pisces Scorpio is about to become very significant and force his life. For one, it is your sexual partner. They are addicted to your sex. Okay, a cancer Pisces Scorpio is about to become very significant and force his life. For one, it is your partner, sexual partner, I heard, and they are very addicted to your sex. For one, they pay you for sex. For one, they pay you for sex. So for one of you guys, they put this water sign pays you for sex. So you're their prostitute. Um, basically, whoever you are, Taurus. Um, I feel you're a femme Taurus. Um, or, well, no, you can be a femme or a masculine. Um, I heard prostitute, but there's male gigolos, which are prostitutes. So, you can be a masculine or femme Taurus, but some water sign pays you for sex. Um, whoever you are, um, they're addicted to your sex. I feel for some of you, um, maybe sex magic, maybe. I didn't hear it was, but it might be. There's a reason they're addicted to your sex. And for others of you guys, just some kind of water sign is about to come significant in your life. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They can have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates, it applies for you, Taurus. A Taurus wants to come back into a Leo Femme's life. She will not have you. Know this. One, she knows you're nasty, and one, she knows you're a huge ass fraud and a fake. Oh Lord! So one of you guys, when it comes back, wants to come back into a Leo Finn's life. I heard she will not have you. For one, she knows you're a huge ass fraud and a fake. For one, she knows you're dirty and nasty. So I think she knows you have an STD or STDs. <laughs> you can be masculine or feminine. For one, she just knows you that you are the two-faced friend. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. That's um, a low vibrational Taurus, obviously. That's not a high vibing one. Beaver. A Capricorn, sex addicted Capricorn is about to become very significant in your life. A sex addicted Capricorn is about to become very significant in your life. So you plug it in how it resonates. A sex addicted Capricorn. So some kind of sex addicted Capricorn, whoever this person is and however that applies in your life. Um, of course, some kind of sex addicted Capricorn. Um, you could want them in your life or not. However that resonates, it applies. And an Aquarius is about to betray you in a huge way. Know this. And an Aquarius is about to betray you in a huge way. Know this. Some kind of Aquarius energy about to betray a Taurus. Whoever this person is and how they apply. A journey either physical or mental.
lot of traveling for one, one year travel nurse. A lot of traveling for one and one year travel nurse. So it could be a travel LPN or travel RN. Um, travel nursing for one of you guys and for one, just a lot of traveling. So you could work, um, you could uh, travel for work or, um, or just enjoy traveling if you are retired or have the money to do so. Y'all know I'm all about some traveling. So however traveling applies, it resonates in your life, Taurus. You, shields you need to defend yourself. A significant report to the Board of Nursing is about some very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're going to make their report. For one, the report's going to be on you. A significant report to the Board of Nursing is about to become significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're going to make the report to the Board of Nursing. For one, um, you are going to be reported on to the Board of Nursing. So some kind of Board of Nursing energy. We have heavy nurse energy in here. One of you guys LPN, one your RN. One, your travel nurse. Some kind of significant report to the Board of Nursing. You need to defend yourself. I think you're going to get communication for the Board of Nursing. And I will tell you from one nurse to another, because I'm an RN and I've been licensed in the state of Alabama since 2013. Um, the, they will communicate with you through written communication in the mail. That's how they communicate with you. Written communication in the mail. Or your email. Um, if you have uh, put your email in through the portal for Alabama, I don't know about other states, okay? So they won't call you. They will put it in the mail. That's how I initially received my communication for the Board of Nursing initial. Um, and um, I received emails from them as well because I put my email in through the portal. But I, I can only speak on Alabama. But one, you're about to... Um, Receive communication from Board of Nursing regarding somebody put a report in on you or they're about to. For one, you're about to report put a report in on somebody. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Uh, I feel you're a nurse. You don't have to be a nurse, nurse to put a report in on somebody, by the way. You could be anybody. But whoever's about to get the report put on them, they are a nurse. And the, I mean, the one about to report uh, put a report in, you don't have to be a nurse. You plug it in how it resonates. But, you know, if you put a report in, it needs to be substantial information. I just want to point that out. Substantial information, because if you lie, you're going to be exposed. And that's just the truth. Cat, a two-faced friend. A younger Gemini Libra Aquarius is about to betray a Taurus in a workplace situation in a huge way. You never thought this person would, but they are about to. It's a feminine energy. Okay, a younger them, Gemini Libra Aquarius, so I'm assuming 36, 35 or below. Um, you think she's your work friend. You think she's your work friend. I think y'all get along positively at work. Now, whatever workplace this is and how this resonates for you. Uh, but y'all get along good at work. You think y'all are buddy, 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 buddy pals. But I heard she's about to betray you in a huge way. Um, you never thought she would, but she's about to. Younger, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, charge. She's your two-faced friend here. Uh, I feel she'd be 36, 35 or below. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, Taurus. Heard you never thought she would betray you. The claws are about to seriously come out. The claws are about to seriously come out. So the claws are about to seriously come out. You're about to see the true colors of this person, basically. Whoever this person is. It's a younger Gemini Libra Aquarius Femme Energy. Like, I'd be considered older in the crow. She's younger. And a water sign masculine is about to betray a Taurus masculine. Some it's your brother. Some it's you call him a friend. 
okay, and a water sign masculine, heavy water sign mask, a uh, heavy water sign energy. Water sign masculine is about to betray you in a huge way. For some, it's your brother. For some, it is um, your uh, somebody you consider a friend. So um, he's about to betray you, two faced friend. Whether it's your, I feel it could be your biological brother, your foster brother, or a somebody you call a brother, um, or somebody you grew up with that you consider real close. Um, I heard you never thought they would betray you. You're about to see their true colors. Whoever this. Water side masculine is Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine. Belonging. A family reunion is about to become very significant. And a visit to uh, see someone's child, maternity ward. A family reunion is about to become very significant for one of you guys and a visit to see someone's child in a maternity ward. So I think they just had a baby or they're about to have a baby and you're about to go see the baby um, in this maternity ward. You uh, you want them to feel belong. You want them to feel like they belong or you want the baby to feel loved or how that resonates, um, how that resonates and applies to us. Okay. Therapy for one. And one, you're in school. Therapy for one and one, you're in school. So um, one, you're going, I think you're in therapy or you're about to attend therapy. And for one, um, you're in school. So I think that gives you personal healing and happiness to be in school. I would love to go back to school. I would love to, but I got to get out of this toxic ass city first. And that's just the truth. So, um, and move closer to my kids. So once I can do that, hopefully I can go back to school if I can find a good company um, that doesn't believe in wrongfully terminating people. And that's just the truth. But, because um, I've been wrongfully terminating my city four times. So, um, however that resonates, it applies. But um, one of you guys, um, I think you're going to therapy or you're about to go to therapy. Um, and I think it's going to bring you personal healing and happiness. And for one, you um, basically, um, I think it brings you personal healing and happiness to go to school. I love school. I love it. I love it. I love it. I loved it when I was in school. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I'm a nerd like that, and I love school, and that's just the truth. Always have. Always have. Anybody that knows me knows that, and that's the truth. And a Taurus is about to block a very toxic Libra out of their life. For some, it's a masculine Libra. For some, it's a femme Libra. It's about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay. And a Taurus is about, one of you guys is about to block a toxic Libra. For some, it's a masculine Libra. For some, it's a femme Libra out of your life. I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Money laundering is about to become very significant in Taurus's life as well. One, you're about to get a phone call from an investigator. Money laundering is about to become very significant in Taurus's life as well. And when you're about to get a phone call from an investigator. So a phone call from an investigator about some kind of money laundering. And one of you guys, somehow money laundering is significant. One, you could be a money launderer. And I'm just not even being, I'm not even joking. Uh, I feel like pulling money launderers in here because I've been getting a lot of it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Door to spirit. A Taurus is about to get a personal download. It's about to be life-changing for you. Life-changing. And a very significant motor vehicle accident is about to wake up a Taurus's, eye, Taurus's eyes. Okay. Uh, a download, a very significant download is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. It's about to um, be very significant. So it's a personal download if this resonates for you. It's a download you're going to get internally within yourself. Um, spiritual download. Not to be confused with mental health issues. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. 
It's a download, like a true personal spiritual download. Clear audience, clear voice, clear sentience, psychic like medium abilities, dreamscape, however you receive it. You're going to receive it, and it's going to be life-changing for you. So whoever you are and how that applies, okay? And for one, um, 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 what was I going to say? For one of you guys, um, the uh, I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. The personal download and, um, hold on. You have to go back and check the other one. A Taurus is about to get a huge wake-up call that an Aquarius has played you in a huge way. You're about to make a huge phone call and report this person. For some, it's a lawyer. For some, it's your boss. For some, it's a family member. Okay, for some of you guys, you're about to get a huge wake-up call. Then Aquarius has betrayed you. Um, you're about to make a huge phone call and um, report this person. I think official reporting energy. For some, it's your boss. For some, it's um, a lawyer. And for some, it is um, some it's your boss. Some it's a lawyer. And for some, it is um, who was the other one? Whoever the other one was. <laughs> However, that resonates and applies. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.